What's up, everybody? It's Geezer here, and we have something a little special today. Uh, I know Wednesdays is normally our first-person shooter day, and I was totally pumped about uh, getting into some first-person shooter action for you all. But I saw this game on Steam on uh, Monday night, and... Did a little bit of looking at it, and it just really seemed to be something that I would have a blast playing. So, I picked it up, and here we go. <laughs> um, I did take, you know, a little a little tour into it to see what it was all about, and um, make sure it was as good as it looked in some of the videos that I saw, and things like that. So, uh, needless to say, I really enjoy it. I hope you all will enjoy it. Um, it's a very, very mellow game. It does have some micromanagement, like you're growing a business because you're upgrading boats and you're learning different skills and hiring people and firing people and all that jazz. But, um, it's just a really, really easy going game. Lots of fun. So I'm going to get it all set up. We're going to avoid the tutorial. Um, it's not all that good and it's, uh... A little bit on the long side so I'm just gonna set some options that I enjoy and let's get into it all right so we are in the port of Yarmouth uh, this game takes place in Canada which is another good bonus it has going for it it's uh, in Nova Scotia so these are Canadian waters we're gonna be fishing here so um, Let's not waste any time. We're going to jump back in. Uh, first things first, the boat that we get here, it's very, very basic boat. Um, not a lot of perks on the thing. And we're going to be starting with some harpoon fishing. But what we're going to do before we get too carried away at actually doing the fishing, we're going to pop into town here real quick. And we are going to upgrade a few things on the boat. And we're also going to go into the local bar and get some tips from the other fishermen where the fish are biting. So uh, we're not going to hire any crew right now. We're just brand new boat. We don't got a lot of money for hiring crews, so we'll, we won't worry about that. Go to the bank and get a loan. We'll probably do that after this first mission, but for now, I'm not going to worry about that. And here's the bar. This is where you can get some tips from some of the people that have just come back from fishing. They can tell you where some stuff is. Some of it costs you, some of it's just nice guys that give you the info for free. So let's see what we can find. All right, so we've got a location on some swordfish. Somebody's going to tell us for free, so we'll we'll get that. And some tuna also, so we'll we'll get that information from those guys. This is tuna from a week ago and Pollock from a week ago. That's probably not reliable, so we won't worry about that. But we'll take those other two pieces of information. Um, now that we've got that, we're going to come in and we're going to buy some upgrades for our boat because we want to have a much better engine in the boat so we can travel a little bit faster because we've just got this puny little standard engine here. So we're going we're gonna to pump up our engine to the top of the line. Uh, we're also going to uh, not spend the money on the fish sonar yet because we don't need it. Uh, we're going to buy autopilot because this helps us so we don't have to do these long drives just sitting here holding the steering wheel for hours on end. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's all that we'll do for right now. Upgrade the engine, throw some autopilot onto the boat. So that should be good for there. Um and yeah, we're going to we're going to go look at the map and we're going to get our route planned. So let's see where we've got some swordfish. So here's our swordfish and tuna that have been spotted today. Um so with us doing harpoon fishing, we're going to be going after the swordfish. So let's get a route planned out of the harbor here. And we will get ourselves out to location. So we can start harpooning some swordfish. All right, all the way down this way. All right, let's get back out onto the boat. And 
Let's get our travels underway. So this game is uh, a couple years old now for any of you who haven't seen it before or heard of it before. Um, they've just released some DLC recently. Um, I think in 2021 or 2022 they added added some new boats you can get and they've also got a, a pack you can download where you can do some scallop fishing. So um, the game's looking really good to me with the little pre-playthrough that I did. I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. We can look at throwing some DLC into this thing and uh, bumping it up with some more stuff to do. Um, everything inside, the, well I shouldn't say everything, most of the stuff in this cab uh, functions. This is our autopilot here. We can turn on our autopilot and we can increase the speed or decrease the speed that the boat's traveling at. Really, really cool. Um, this is our button to deploy any of our gear that we have prepped when we uh, start doing some uh, deep line fishing or some net fishing, things like that. This is how you would deploy the gear that's out there on the deck ready to go. Uh, we got a spotlight on the front we can look at. We can anchor up the boat, honk our horn. Oh yeah, clear the path. Uh, we've got our work lights, interior lights. This is how we can call down to our crew, tell them to get on the deck and get ready to do some work when the time comes. Don't have any crew yet, but I'm sure after this trip we'll be uh, having enough money we can grab some crew and uh, get back out there and do some more fishing. Um, of course, we've got the steering wheel here, and we've got a radio. I've got the music disabled, of course, for uh, copyright purposes, but, um, yeah, there's some, some music you can play while you're making those long, long trips. Um, what we're going to do here is take a little tour on the boat, so we can pop through this little hatch to get out here and arm ourselves with our harpoon. Um, we don't want to drive on to shore though, so we're going to get back in here and just make sure we steer over to the side a little bit. Actually, what we'll do here while we're doing our tour, we'll kick on our autopilot and we'll set the speed to max. And now I don't even have to worry, it's going to follow my plotted course. I can lead you around the boat. Um, like most of the fishing, when you're uh, setting out some lines or setting out some pots or whatever you're doing, you know, you got to let some let some time pass for the fish to get in there. So we've got this little clock you can interface on the wall and it'll let you skip ahead as many hours as you want to give your pots or your lines a chance to catch some fish. And then we can go on this particular boat. We can climb up here onto the old mast and uh, we can drive from up here. So if it's a nice day like it is today, you can hop up here and run your boat and uh, enjoy the weather. And from up here, it's really nice. You can pull out your binoculars and take a closer view of all the stuff that's going on out there. You can uh, a lot of times spot the fish that are on the surface or close to the surface and you can uh, obviously see other boats that are out in the boat and what they're fishing with and what they're catching. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But what we're going to do is once we get out of the harbor here, once we get through this little channel, I'll uh, definitely speed up the travel so that you guys don't have to sit and watch this boat bob up and down for an hour as we make our way over to the location where our uh, swordfish are. So let's give that a little a little horn back and let's go to the map and crank up the time here and uh, get ourselves to location so I will be right back with you all as soon as we hit our fishing spot all right as you can see on the map here we're uh, we're really close to that location of the swordfish so let's pop out here into the boat and see what we've got uh, we're going to Hop up on the top here so we can get a good visual. Oh, we got some, some company here. Some dolphin swimming with us. Nice. Okay, so what we want to look for 
is a lot of times, oh, there they are right over there. You'll see some birds flocking over the water. That's a really, really good sign that, uh, that you've got some fish activity on the surface. Oh, but never mind. Look right here to our left. Right over here, we've got ourselves, uh, we've got ourselves some, uh, Oh, I forgot. We got autopilot on. <laughs> Map, autopilot off. I'm wondering why I can't turn. Let's hop into this chair here and do a little turn. Get ourselves over to where these uh, swordfish were. Okay, let's stop the boat. Oh, there they are, just over there. Okay, so the boat is just going to coast to a stop here. Let's get out here and see if we can't catch one of these little buggers. They're pretty far away. I'm probably going to miss this throw, but let's try. Oh, I came up just short. All right, so we're going to we're going to get a little bit closer so that we can have a much better chance at actually uh bagging one of these guys. I mean, ultimately, I'd like to get two or three of them, but this uh, this harpooning, it's uh, difficult sometimes to get just one. Oh, I should have stopped the boat. I thought that I'd get lucky and I could... Uh, hook one really quick so I didn't stop the boat but yeah that was not good so let's turn around on these guys here get in line with them get nice and close and uh, we will try and make a catch here for you guys okay let's head up this way and put the boat on coast And they're going to go under the boat by the time I get out of there. Ay, ay, ay. Disaster. Disaster. I hit the key to stop the engine and I inadvertently pressed it twice. And it stopped the engine and started the engine back right up to full throttle. Okay. Now we're in a good position. Let's get out here and hook one of these guys. There we go, we got one. Awesome. Let's try and hook another as they're swimming away from us. Oh, missed them. But they'll turn around, they'll come back to us. But we're going to try for a long shot here. Oh, and I got one. Score! Now, in this line, it gets tension on it. You'll see that little alert symbol that popped up there. That was, the line was about to snap. You really got to watch the color of the line here. Which, I know, goody-goody, colorblind dude having to watch the color of the line. But it apparently builds up until it gets a nice bright red, and when it's red, it's going to break if you don't stop reeling. So, uh, I got to really watch for this thing to start changing color. And then stop reeling and wait for it to get back down to a darker color. And Oh, it's I don't want to break it. I got this guy on such a long throw, I don't want to waste it and break the break the line and have him take off on me. That was close. That was close. I was pushing it. This is going to be a long fight. He's so far away. And unfortunately, um, when you've got a fish hooked, if you go back into the cab and try and drive your boat to get a little bit closer and... Uh, help with help with your reeling in it actually takes the fish off you lose and you have to start all over again so it's kind of a pain they should let you take the boat and drive it and get the fish closer because some of these you have to reel for quite a while to get in all right we're up to two can we hook a third one with another long shot no, over top. Well, we got lucky with that one long shot. We're going to try. 
Oh, now we're too close. <laughs> There's just no no in between. You're either way over top or you're way short. Like way short on that one. Crazy how short that was. I keep seeing a big Oh, that is. That's a huge whale fin coming out of the water over there. Do you guys all see that? That's crazy, man. That's like a big-ass whale over there. He was just over here. Oh, there he is, right towards the sun. That is cool. I haven't seen that before. Okay, what are we looking at? So we got some more... More over there. Some more over there. These ones that are behind us, I don't know if they're going to turn and come back towards us or not. Oh, they're getting a little bit closer, but it looks like they're heading uh, pretty far behind. Oops. Oh, man, that's such a cool big whale fin coming out of the water. We're going to try and go for a long shot, and then I think we're going to relocate here. Yeah, I know we're close. Okay, let's relocate. starting to get dark. I'd like to get at least one more caught before we head back to port. Damn, that whale's so cool. I would love to see him like coming up out of the water. Or on the surface of the water. Okay, we're nice and close here. They're swimming away. We're going to try and circle around here. Try and flank these little bastards. And we will stop the engine, get out, run, throw. Oh, just missed. Oh, you can hear the whale singing now. Oh, look at this. Holy shite. A shark. Wonder if I can harpoon him. Oh my lord, I can. I want to harpoon this guy. That is crazy. Oh no, maybe I can't. When it said missed, I thought that it wouldn't put that up there if it was an invalid target, but Yeah, damn. <laughs> that would be something. Harpoon a shark and take it in when you're out on uh Swordfish uh, mission. <laughs> Come back to town with a big ass shark on your boat. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get closer. I'm just gonna give these guys a second because it looks like they've turned back this way. So we'll give them a couple seconds, see if they get closer to us, see if we can snag one here. Yeah, we're going to have to get closer. So let's see if we can uh, get a little closer to these guys over there. It's a shame we couldn't harpoon that shark. Man, that would have been something to see. Of course, he probably would have just destroyed my line immediately with how big that bugger is going to be. Okay, where are you boys going? You're still heading this way. Let's try and get ahead here. Damn it. I can't believe that's a miss. Ugh. Sometimes the harpooning in this is just frustrating as all hell because it looks like it hits. And it tells you no, you didn't hit. But it sure looks like you did. All right. Just going to try one more set of throws here if we can get relocated on these guys. Get close to them and uh, try and do a hit here. Right into the sun.
We're still turning, so hopefully a little over top. Oh, beauty. We got him. Ah, and of course we break the line because I was trying to push it too hard because the boat's still moving. I wanted to get him in. Okay, let's turn the other way. Go after these buggers. Let's chase. This time I'll kill the engine on the boat so that it's not driving away from them. And we got some up here. This is a different group. Where's the group I was after? Let's try one more, one more relocate here and one throw and see what we get. Well, I may have, uh, I may have lost them in the swells here. I didn't see them, and we've gone a full 360. I might have just lost them. Yeah. Well, you know what? Two's better than none. So let's uh, let's pull up our map here, and we're gonna get ourselves routed back up to port. But we're gonna go to a different port here. We're not gonna go up to this one. We're gonna we're gonna come closer here. We need to discover this port anyway. So let's uh, let's plan our trip back here, avoiding all these glorious islands. And uh, let's get up into port. And once again, we'll uh, bring you back when we get close to port so we don't have to deal with the uh, hour-long drive to get back. So we'll bring you back shortly. All right, we have gotten ourselves back into port here. Uh, let's get some lights on so we can see what's going on. Interior lights on, and we'll put on our search light out front here so we can see just ahead of the boat a little bit. And let's get ourselves up into dock. Just ahead up here, you can see that nice little, nice little glowing area in the water. That's going to be where we're going to pop into port here. We can sell off our catch. And uh, see about buying some fuel, maybe check out uh, hiring some crew, upgrading the boat the rest of the way, and then we can look at switching up the fishing style. We're going to abandon this harpooning. Uh, this boat is actually set up to be doing what's referred to as deep line fishing. So we are going to look into getting some deep line gear and grabbing some bait. And hopefully there's some tips on where we can find some tuna in, uh, out in the ocean there that's relatively, uh, relatively recent. So we can go on a tuna hunt with our deep line fishing gear. All right, so we're going to sell. So we are getting a price of fourteen fifty two a kilogram, and the usual price is twenty five. So this this port is not buying at a good price, but we're gonna take what we can get, sell off our fish here. So as you can see, we're right now we're running harpoon fishing, but this boat will support deep line fishing. So we're gonna we're gonna buy the equipment we need to do some deep line fishing. So we're going to go in here and buy some rigging and we're going to rig our boat up for some deep line fishing. It's going to cost us 15,000. That's just going to get us the gear on the deck of the boat that lets us do our deep line fishing. But now we have to actually go and buy all the gear. So now we're going to go to the fish market here. Um, this is where you can upgrade your, your tools, your personal tools that you're using, your knife when you're gutting fish, your binoculars, of course, when you're out there spotting stuff on the horizon, and uh, your hook for when you're grabbing fish out of the water. We're not going to upgrade any of that stuff right now. Um, fish prices. We got fishing gear. So fishing gear here. We are going to buy some deep lines. 1500 bucks a piece. This boat will run eight so we're gonna get all eight 
And now we have to pick up the bait for those deep lines. So we've got two options. It all comes down to what we want to catch. If we want to catch tuna, then we end up grabbing this uh, herring because it gives us like a, an 80% chance of catching a tuna and a 20% catch uh, chance of catching a swordfish. Uh, if you outfit it with squid, it just reverses. So you're going to get a lot more swordfish and a lot less tuna. Um, tuna is generally better priced for us. They buy at a higher price usually. So we're going to bait our lines uh, with herring so we can go get ourselves some tuna. So we've got that. So we're looking good. Um, we're down to 1700 bucks. Now on our boat, when we are um, running our gear, I'm just going to pop out of here really quick. It says, yeah, see right here, requires crew to haul the line. Do you want to leave port without a crew? So we're going to say yes just for now so I can show you when we bring up our crew menu here. So there has to be crew out there to prepare the gear. So they're going to take the take the line, get it out of the bucket, get it all prepped up, ready to go on the back of the boat here. You can see this is, uh, there's all of our all of our gear. And here's the little launcher to get the deep lines launched out. And here's our uh, our retriever. This is our little wheel to pull uh, pull the stuff back in. So you need to have crew in order to deep line fish. So we're going to have to get some crew in order to pull this off. So we're going to go back in. And crew is expensive to hire. So we're going to have to go to the bank. We're going to have to uh, hit up the bank for a loan. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to borrow 40,000 bucks and we've got two years to pay it back. So let's, uh, let's do that. And then we're going to do two things. First, we're going to look at some crew and we're going to hire, um, this here, their rate. That's the percentage out of the money you make for your sale that they're going to take. Um, most of these crew, they're, they're, pretty green crew so they don't have a really high rate of return that they're going to take off of your uh, off of your money but the hiring cost can get pretty high like you look at this dude here he's forty eight thousand bucks to hire on your boat but his skills are pretty damn decent all the way across the board um, but what i've found is the best thing to do in my eyes is when you look at these guys get somebody with like a really really high stamina like this guy's got nine stamina points he's only taken one percent of the cut and we can hire him for seventeen thousand nine hundred bucks his deep line skill is only a two hey that sucks let's be honest but the more deep line work that he does his skill is going to go up the more of that work that he does. So we're gonna hire this guy on the cheap. Um, the next thing that we need to look at really quick before we head out is we wanna do a couple little upgrades. Um, our fish sonar, we wanna upgrade because this current one can only see to a depth of about 50 meters. Um, and when you're deep line fishing, you need to see like down to the bottom. So we're gonna grab this guy here it's going to take a lot of money. Uh, and then the buoys, we're going to get some buoys that have um, the beacon on it so that when we're at night, the little beacon will be flashing for us. We can see where our buoys are without having to get too, too close. So we're going to add that to the basket. So we're going to spend 14000 upgrading our boat. So we've got about nine, almost 10000 bucks left. So let's... Take a look in the bar really quick. I don't think we looked here for tips yet. So sadly, nobody's got any tuna tips. So we're just going to have to go out there and wing it. So let's look at our map because I know we got some tuna tips at that other port the one time I thought. Yeah, there we go. So we got some tuna. Now that's 20 hours ago. So the beautiful thing in this game is... All the sea life in here migrates. You can see the little arrow. This is the way that they're expected to migrate. So 
they were here 20 hours ago where they are now who knows how fast are they migrating that's part of the joy of this game is you need to kind of play your odds do you come in and start looking for tuna around here do you go over here a little bit do you chance it and go right to where they were like it's a it's a fun little game you get to play there to figure out where the heck everything's moving to so um but what we'll do is i think that that's a good little taste for this episode so if you guys enjoyed the episode definitely let me know leave a like um tell me in the comments do you guys like this game do you want to see some more of it um do you want me to leave some of the travel in so you guys can watch the boat bobbing around and make videos a little bit longer Definitely just, you know, give me your opinions. Tell me what you want to see. And mostly if you want to see more of this game. Um, I really enjoy it. So I'm hoping that you guys did as well. And that we can make some more of this. And, and make a series for you guys to enjoy. Uh, for those of you who are still around. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet. Why the heck not? Come on. <laughs> We got lots of good stuff going on on this channel. I'm sure that uh, you'll find something you like, especially if you uh, love simulator stuff. Uh, so with all that being said, we hope to see you out on the next one. Take care, everybody.